Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 82 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on how to correct an image that has a color cast in it. Now this is a totally unprocessed raw file, and you can see it has a little bit of a blue tint to it. And sometimes our camera is just fooled by the scene. My camera apparently thought this scene was a lot warmer than it actually was, so the resultant raw file is a little bit cooler than it should be. Well, to correct for this sometimes is tricky because what you'll find is the color cast isn't always even. Now it looks on this image to be totally even, but what you'll find is when I correct it, it's going to be corrected for part of the image, but not really for another part of the image. And that's what this whole video is about, how to get it nice and even. Now, those of you that have watched a lot of my videos know that to correct the color temperature of an image, we would go to the white balance. And you could try the drop downs first. A lot of times this will work. We have a cool image, so we would go to the drop down here where right now it says as shot. And we would go to either cloudy or shade. In this case, it's not a real strong uh, blue color cast. So cloudy might work. You could try that. And you could see that made it a little bit too warm. Now, shade's going to be even warmer. So obviously, if cloudy didn't work, shade isn't going to work. So we're going to go back to as shot. Now, a lot of people just randomly move the sliders around. But there really is a better way than, uh, than doing that, is if you get the eyedropper tool. And I do have videos on the eyedropper tool. And what you would do is you would come over onto the image. And you would look for something in the image that would be like a medium gray uh, in in the scene and you'd like to click on that so I'm gonna click on the shingles of the roof up here and when I click on that that seemed to do a very good job on the buildings and on the sky but down here it's still a little bit cool on this um, dock so our color cast really wasn't even so what could we do about the dock well we'll put this eyedropper tool away. I like what it did for the sky and the buildings, but we want to do something more for the dock. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the brush tool. Now here we're going to reset the brush. It is already reset apparently, but we're just going to double click on the word effect that will reset the brush. And we will have to kind of randomly move these sliders around. So we're going to go to the temp slider and I'm going to just move it up toward the right warmer because this is a cool image we're gonna move it to the right and I'm gonna move it to about 12 and the tint slider what I found is a good ratio is to move it in the negative direction to a value that is half the value of the temp slider meaning I'm gonna move it negative 6 so 6 is half, half a 12 but it's in the negative direction all right so that's usually a good ratio now on the other hand, if this image was really warm and we were going to cool it down, you would move the temp slider, let's say, to minus 12 and the tint slider to plus 6. Okay, so you understand the concept there. So we're going to get a pretty heavily feathered brush. We're going to make sure that flow and density are all the way up. And we're going to make sure that auto mask is not checked. And we're going to get a very large brush to start. And we're going to start down here in the lower part of the image. And we're just going to paint right across and make sure that I get all the dock, all the water. Now we're going to start getting a smaller brush. And I'm going to try to avoid the buildings as much as possible. And I'm just going to hover over the button to see what I painted. And I did OK. I did overlap on the building up here a little bit so I could get the erase brush and erase it from up in there. But that, to me, I hover over. You can see I painted the entire lower part of the image, basically the dock and the water. And that to me now is a more evenly color balanced scene or white balanced scene. And the main tip here is that to keep that in mind that your color cast sometimes won't always be even. And to use this little trick with the brush to try to even out the color cast once you corrected it with the eyedropper tool in the white balance part of the basic 
panel. So I hope that taught you something you didn't know. Now I could go about and I could actually start processing this image the way I normally would process images and maybe just really quick. And I don't have to worry about the white balance being off. And let me turn clarity up too. So real quick, that looks to me decent. I think the white balance is, is well done on the image. So thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.